also Beaters, which is a 96th movie. It's shot on Crapio. Um, the qu camera quality, the look of the film is horrible. The editing is horrible. There's nothing really redeeming about this movie at all. Um, the acting was atrocious. At the beginning, it was sort of letting it slide a bit because I was just get in, getting into it, and then it went on and on. And I was like, "Oh, okay, I get why this is a, you know, ugh. Um, the effects, the look of the aliens are just lame. Um, the gore in this, as if there is any gore, not really. You get some prosthetic, like blood openings or whatever, but no. Nah. Overall, generic kills one of them is just boring where it's just a one of them you you see a needle or a rod go into a guy's neck i guess it probed him kind of but then he i guess falls over and then the aliens just start eating him um, we see blood come out of his mouth that's it or on his hand as well um but the acting's horrible the effects of the aliens the way they want to make them a threat as if they're the predators with the predator vision they have these lame sounding growls and again they look like they're basically these little puppet aliens so it's not even stop motion or anything cool Grant, this movie probably couldn't afford that the movie looked like it was shot on twenty dollars maybe fifty being generous um, but yeah it was horrible I mean the acting by one of the actresses uh, the nerdy Ve uh, Velma wannabe um, her acting over the phone saying like it's like it's like two of these girls were trying they were like reading off cue cards or off their script to the side because there's like no emotion when they're talking it's like, are they, uh, are they the, are they aliens already? <laughs> no. Of course, the Velma girl, she dies pretty fast. And then the other friend of hers, um, she survives, I guess, because then she just drives off. Um, she kills two of the aliens, she drives off. Never see her again. Um, the two main buddies, they hit a guy who, I guess, died from, you know, gently being hit by a car. And then falling gently, but oh, he died in the hospital. Okay, even though he was speaking. Um, pretty much the ending's downbeat where the two buddies they make it to a house at dark time to kill one alien, and then one of them decides to go outside, even though he saw a flying saucer, and then he gets zapped up into it, and then I guess probed or whatever. But then they return a clone to him. I guess, and then, the, and then the real one comes out, but then the buddy doesn't know which one's real, and then it's the two clone guys fighting each other, and then the buddy just kills randomly one of them, and then he's like, good thing that you killed the right one, or something, and then, um, of course, you see more aliens, I guess, and then he's like, why not, why fight them when you can join them? And then he turns to him, and then he runs off, and then he's like, no, no, because I guess, because then we see a shot of more and more flying saucers in her earth, so that's dumb, um, and yeah, this movie has two sequels, apparently, one was made recently, 2021, <laughs> which I don't know if I'll watch that, um, I don't even know if I'll watch the second one. I mean, this one was atrocious to get through. I, that's why I skipped through some stuff. Because it was... The part I skipped through was them walking t through woods. Um, but yeah, and people's reactions to seeing flying saucers. Like, whoa. Or, oh, man. And then, oh, I knew... I forget what the one, the first guy says. But he drives off. Then he dies getting, you know, eaten by the aliens. But this movie, the effects again are terrible. The acting's terrible. It was just a bore to sit through. It was torture. Um, I can't really say I was angry or anything like that. It didn't like, you know, it didn't get me angry like other movies. 
Um, but I would say this is still a mild rant. Um, but yeah, if you've seen Feeders, at least the first one, ugh, um, like, comment, subscribe, share, um, until next time, take care, peace, and love.